everyone and welcome to our daily devotions for today Tuesday the 19th of October we begin as always with our opening prayer let's pray together almighty God we know that we have no claim on your love and we have no right to expect forgiveness and yet you constantly reach out in love ever eager to forgive and to forget Day after day, your nature is to have mercy, putting the past behind us and helping us to begin again. We thank you for the awesomeness of your love and we ask for your help in opening our lives to your redeeming grace. Teach us to confess our sins and to commit ourselves again to your service. And so may we receive the cleansing, the renewing, and the forgiveness that you alone can bring. For we ask this in the name of Christ, our Lord and our Saviour. Amen. Mark chapter 2 Now John's disciples and the Pharisees were fasting. Some people came and asked Jesus, how is it that John's disciples and the disciples of the Pharisees are fasting, but yours are not? Jesus answered, How can the guests of the bridegroom fast while he is with them? They cannot, so long as they have him with them. For the time will come when the bridegroom will be taken from them, and on that day they will fast. No one sews a patch of unshrunk cloth on an old garment, Otherwise the new piece will pull away from the old, making the tear worse. And no one pours new wine into old wineskins. Otherwise the wine will burst the skins, and both the wine and the wineskins will be ruined. No, they pour new wine into new wineskins. Old wine skins burst, stone carven 
and dry bones rise up from the grave when prophets feel their strength is gone as churches add to people's pain our prophets question lingers on can dry bones ever live again true prophets God bids us rise to speak and move like prophets on a lighted stage, unmasking fear, revealing love, and making peace from age to Psalm 18 I love you, Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my rock, in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. I called to the Lord who is worthy of praise, and I have been saved from my enemies. The cords of death entangled me. The torrents of destruction overwhelmed me. The cords of the grave coiled around me. The snares of death confronted me. In my distress I called to the Lord. I cried to my God for help. From his temple he heard my voice. My cry came before him into his ears. The earth trembled and quaked, and the foundations of the mountains shook. They trembled because he was angry. Smoke rose from his nostrils. Consuming fire came from his mouth. Burning coals blazed out of it. He parted the heavens and came down. Dark clouds were under his feet. He mounted the cherubim and flew. He soared on the wings of the wind. He made darkness his covering, his canopy around him, the dark rain clouds of the sky. Out of the brightness of his presence, clouds advanced with hailstones and bolts of lightning. The Lord thundered from heaven. The voice of the Most High resounded. He shot his arrows and scattered the enemy. With great bolts of lightning he routed them. The valleys of the sea were exposed, and the foundations of the earth laid bare at your rebuke, Lord, at the blast of breath from your nostrils. He reached down from on high and took hold of me. He drew me out of deep waters. He rescued me from my powerful enemy, from my foes who were too strong for me. They confronted me in the day of my disaster, but the Lord was my support. He brought me out into a spacious place. He rescued me because he delighted in me. We come now to our closing prayer for today. Let's pray together. Living God, we know that we have no claim on your love. 
and no reason to expect your goodness, for we fail you day after day and week after week. And yet we celebrate once more the glorious truth that you love and accept us just as we are. Although we deserve so little, you give us so much. Although we serve you so poorly, you bless us so richly. Your grace is never exhausted, your love refusing to be denied. We know that we can never earn such love or ever begin to repay it. But we praise you that you do not ask us to do that. Your gift of new life in Christ, truly being free to all people. Help us then, humbly, gladly and gratefully, to receive what you offer and to give to you all of the glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. I will not boast in anything No gifts, no power, no wisdom But I will boast in Jesus Christ His death and resurrection my 